this is a figure that shows the situation described as a rectangle is inscribed with its base on the x-axis and its upper corners on the parabola y equals 5 minus x squared. So if you take a look at this, the length of this, well, let's do this. This is, this is the point x, y, but y is constrained right here to be on 5 minus x squared. So instead of writing y here, I'm going to write 5 minus x squared for the y coordinate. Now, that means that this rectangle is the y value tall here. This width is the height of the function at this particular x. So I can represent the width as 5 minus x squared. If I move that point and I change the corners of the rectangle, I'll get a different height, which is really how it should be. And the length here, well, on this side we've gone x, negative x, and on this side we've gone positive x, so x plus x is 2x. That means that the area of the rectangle, the formula is length times width, And for us, that's the length is 2x, and the height or the width is 5 minus x squared. So if you distribute this, we find that the area is 10x minus 2x cubed. Now, if we want to find the dimensions of the rectangle with the greatest possible area, if we would graph this, we're looking for the peak. We're looking for the maximum. So um, over here on board two, I'm going to pull up the graph. I think it's this one. No, nope, wrong graph. I'm going to pull up the correct graph over here. This is the graph of 10x minus 2x cubed. And its maximum is here at x equals 1.291. That's where it is. That's the x. And the tallest point on this graph is at 8.607. But what we need for our rectangle over here is the x-coordinate. We need to know that this x right here at 1.291 is going to give us the maximum area. So back to board one, we know that x that gives us the maximum area is the x coordinate of this peak. So it's 1.291. And the length is two of these. And the width is 5 minus 1.291 squared.
So we get out a calculator and we calculate that the length is two times 1.291. So the length of the biggest rectangle, the one with the biggest area, we're going to go two times 1.291 and get that the length is 2.582 and the width is 5 minus our 1.291 squared and that equals 3.333 and that's the solution.